three, hit the four. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Build Across Live. Filling it with Scarlet today. I'm going to paint this uh, yard art piece. This Scarlet's still working with it. Yes. Okay, She'll gonna, be back tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to paint this yard art piece she that uh, I designed for the wise men. I think it's so cool. I love wise men. Um, I've invited Tara on today to sing Christmas songs for you while I paint. <laughs> yes. Like. That's yep. what I'll be doing in the background. Singing She's Christmas be, songs. So give us your Not. give us your request. She's taking requests. Um, I'm going to be using the stains today uh, to give them some color. And I'll be using a baby wipe to put the stains on. And also, because I don't have purple stain, I'm going to use purple apple barrel paint, which we sell on our website. Um, chalk paint doesn't make a good stain at all. But <laughs> acrylic paint will make a good stain. Why is that? Does it water down good enough? Or? I think it's the, the base of it. Like, it's just a... Stays too dark. Or it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. It, it gives a smoky, milky mm. look. It's just not. Like good. it's too chalky. Yeah, too chalky. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But acrylic paint will make a great cheap stain if right. you ever need it. So nice, nice. Hello. So what's going on, Tara? What did you come to sing? Oh. oh. <laughs> I didn't come to sing. Aww. You know I don't do that. Christmas songs are your favorite. I do love Christmas music. And Tara does sing in church, by the way. Yes, she does. Yes, it's, but it's not far fetched. It's yes, but it's not the same <laughs> at all. No. Let me tell you a little bit first. With this uh, this voodoo stain, don't let it sit. Put it on and wipe it off. Put it on and wipe it off. If you let it sit, it's going to leave the pattern that you squirted it in. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so wait, what are we talking about? Not me singing. What? <laughs> That's what oh, we're the not conversation talking about. topic? Tara singing. Yeah. Christmas crack, Tara. I Tara had, had a anything. hot cocoa bar for us. Yes, oh. I had a hot cocoa counter. It was so fun. It was delicious. We had marshmallow fluff, and we had regular hot chocolate, and we had peppermint hot chocolate. Yeah, there's still stuff over there. And she put candy canes in it, and it melted in the coffee, or in the chocolate. It was so good. Yeah. I love Christmas. Who doesn't? Yeah. Yeah. You said cringe, and people tell me, like, Halloween's their favorite. No! Holiday. Like, what? That's how, you know. Halloween Why? smells bad. How do you do that? We had some so cookies and I made I some chef mix trash we this weekend. So yes. yes. Did y'all know that during the holidays you can get free chex mix seasoning at Walmart? Yes, and nobody realizes it, so it all just sits up there until oh, me and Sarah go get <laughs> all of it. Twenty packets a piece. <laughs> And then I get to the counter and I'm trying to offer on money because I'm taking so many because it's just all sitting back there getting unused. And they're like, huh? Everybody's so confused. Where do they keep it at? I've they keep it. That. It's, it's like, like in the middle. Yeah. We'll have a huge thing of the check cereal set up and then there'll be yeah. this a box. box of season packets that says free take one and nobody ever gets them because in the beginning I was like, oh my goodness, they're going to run out of them. No. You They're can not gonna free take 20 if you yeah. want. And I've yeah. like been up there like with a bunch like, can I get a few of these? And they're like, oh, yeah, sure. They're free. It's, yeah. I get them for Tara. It's my You can't get them any other time. Right. Like, they're not like just something they carry at the store to buy. Because yeah. I'd be willing to buy. And just so you know, it's really good if you use it and if you make homemade hamburgers. You put a package of that in there yep. with your ground meat and mix it in, and it's so delicious. Is that what's in that chicken? Yes. Oh, I use three packs to two sticks of butter. I use more than it says to. I it's get good. them for Tara. It's my token of affection for yes. her during the holiday season. A little bit like, a, see, I do love you kind of thing. Yeah. I got her a fairy lamp. Yes, she did. I collect fairy lamps. Now she's just going to collect them. I know. I really didn't think I want to collect them for Abram. Not a ton, but you know, one here and there. People always do that to me. They, they like what I like, and then they start collecting it. And that's true. Like, I I've had three friends. plants for you. <laughs> and I'm not collecting Christmas trees. I don't collect Christmas trees. My parents have four Christmas trees this year. Four? Four. One just for my presents? There, yes. 
there's one decorated, two just lit up, and then a small one decorated with like her blue and white ornaments. Ah. I just have one Christmas tree, and I didn't even decorate the mantle this year, so I kind of feel like a Scrooge. But we're doing all Christmas things, like we're going to the Christmas parties, and we're, you know, going to take pictures yeah. with Santa Claus tonight. Are you? Yes, which Abram wants to know if he's the real one or just a helper. And I was like, well, we won't know till we get there because the real Santa can't be at every mall. And she's hoping he's just a helper because she doesn't really want to talk to the real one. Yeah. I saw this this piece. What do we on... want them to do to win today? Oh. Tell them oh. We do need to do a prize probably. Tag a friend and comment your favorite Christmas song that you want to hear. Uh, no, I want their favorite Christmas oh. recipe. Oh, recipe. Sorry. Oh, okay, I like the recipe. Yeah, because then we can get some I good ideas. We're making homemade <laughs> marshmallows <laughs> this week. When I say we, Alice is going to make them. And then we're going to dip them in chocolate and either toast some coconut or use some really fun Christmas sprinkles. Did you say homemade marshmallows? Yes, girl. A marshmallow is a marshmallow. No, it is not. If you've ever had a homemade marshmallow as opposed to a store ball, you'll know the difference. A marshmallow is a marshmallow. No. How is it different? Oh my gosh, it's so soft and yummy. What's it made of? Like sugar and gelatin and hot water, and then you like whip it in the um. You whip it good. Yep. Whip it good. And then they have to sit <laughs> for like twenty four hours. I made my caramel last night. I boiled my sweetened condensed milk for three hours, and so it's sitting in the refrigerator chilling until I get ready to make my turtle millionaires, whatever you want to call them. Just chilling. Just chilling. Karen Boyd said she's making. Christmas cray. Yeah. We have some here that some one of the ladies at church made. I haven't ate mm -hmm. any yet because I've been eating the Chex Mix. I feel like I drank that hot cocoa and now my blood sugar is through her. <laughs> All of a sudden I'm having a hot flush. I, like... I think to myself like I want a sandwich for lunch <laughs> but I really don't need anything. I've already had enough sugar and right cereal and Peggy said she'd be watching you eat some of our popcorn right now. Is she? Nice. Yeah. What's your favorite flavor, Peggy Sue? Uh, there's so many. Of these. We have 32 flavors on the website. Good Lord. I know. And you know how I told you I was getting some for Alice's teachers? Yeah. She sent me a detailed list. Oh, sure. I was like, wait, what? You need to go to the mall. I know. I was like, um. <laughs> You get what you get, and you don't. That's know what I was saying. <laughs> right, I was yeah. like, I was just gonna get, you know, some yeah, that they well. just have up here. Teenagers always yeah, take it a step, step further. Year, mall, we Do we have um, white cheddar with jalapeno, or is it Chicago? Right oh no. We're out of white cheddar. Teenagers are always doing the most. We are out at the uh, Conlon Mall in Monroe, Louisiana. If y'all are in the area, and they are eating that kettle corn like. Check it out. We've got 32 flavors uh, in stock and being popped fresh over there on location. You can try any of them. 32 flavors is incredible. I guess it'd be 31 now because they're out of weight. <laughs> well, then they can't do the um, white Chicago. Oh, wow. That takes out a bunch, huh? So I'm using this diamond gem mousse on the gemstones on this. Uh, I would think this is might be the frankincense. What do you think? I would think so. I think you said sweet salt. Ooh, that's the best. I took some home that I had got up here for my dad recently. He had brain surgery, and he was so excited when he got home from the hospital to see it. He was like, is this for me? Okay, I'm going to turn this a little bit sideways and hit all their faces at once. I decided to use a mixture of chocolate and putty because they're Middle Eastern, of course. Yeah. Well, Where did you think they came from? Who knows? I mean... Europe. <laughs> Most likely. I, I, don't know. I never thought specifically. And I always kind of imagine they came from different areas, but mm -hmm. most people believe they came from Well, Egypt, Europe, right, yeah. all those countries. Hey. So you're on camera. <laughs> what hands are parched, Sarah? I'm just gonna get your my lotion. Yes. 
to my verse. That's something we can talk about since most people are women watching. What's y'all's favorite hand lotions? Mine is that limelight. I love that. Oh, that's the medicine one. This is the lotion. What's better? Well, that's medication. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> for, for my eczema. What do y'all like to use for lotion? In the winter, I love Bath and Body Works body butters. Oh, but I don't know. Something about that feels like it dries my hands. That The yeah. scents in it. Yeah. I use it after my shower. But I still like my good old Eucerin, like, yeah. healing stuff for my legs and everything. My hands have taken a lick in this year helping split the firewood like oh, gosh, they're cracked yeah. and cut and i accidentally hit one finger on the splitter one night and that's been probably three weeks ago and, and i don't still... think it healed completely in the underneath or maybe i have something in there because it still hurts really bad you might have a splinter in there it could i guess it'll work its way out at some point oh tara tara has to tell everyone about the amazing sale going on right now. Yes, amazing. right now we just um, started sending out a newsletter, our Christmas category, and so that's everything in the actual Christmas category. That's not going to include like the yard art because it's um, in a different category. But anything in the Christmas category, if you use Christmas forty, you're going to get forty percent off anything in that category, and you want to. Um, Anything you order, you really want to order it by the 16th this Thursday to get it there before Christmas, to get it guaranteed before Christmas. And we say that. We can't help if, um, you know, FedEx or UPS does something. That does happen occasionally, so don't hold those, that against us if it does. But we're going to get it all cut and shipped. So you want to get on there and get all your stuff. That coupon code is good through Sunday night. Christmas 40 and here I'll pop up and get some of these shapes and show you because we did just put some new shapes online of the Christmas stuff. Um, put a, uh, link directly to that category. Yes. Remember it's only this category. It's uh, but it is like 400 different Christmas. Yes, yeah, like 388 yeah, shapes. Wow. Like, I don't know how they'll see me, but um, <laughs> like we got this new one. I think this is how he goes. To me, this shape Can upside down looks like. Put it on her while I'm in a um a turtle shell, but it's not really it Santa's me? feet in a turtle shell. That's a funky okay. looking um. <laughs> That's a uh, okay. Chimney. I just realized what it is. Yeah, it is a chimney, isn't it's it? Of our new show. Yeah, but it right is. there, it it's does like look a... like Santa's stuck in a turtle shell. <laughs> yeah, to me, either, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the cute little Christmas trees. Oh yeah. These thing. are that Sarah you put on the top first. Yeah, she did a lot with these the other day. Those are on there. And then we've got this cute little camel. Let me get him. And, oh, let's see. And I don't know how many of y'all, y'all's kids, grandkids, whatever, are into sloths. Sloths are like my daughter, Abram, the one that paints with scarlet. Sloths are her absolute favorite. We've got this one in the stocking with the candy cane. Um, we've got a new little snowman hauling a Christmas tree home. Uh, what was the code again? Christmas, Christmas 40. The uh, camel, he's really cute. Like, I wish we had all the nativity animals like him. Like, we'll have to get some more design. The sheep, he's just fun. Yeah, just fun. Yeah, thing. and more of a um, kid-friendly shapes. Then we've got this owl. Another Christmas sloth. Abram, she's told me she wants um, a sloth keychain for Christmas. And she's tried to take these shapes already and paint them. But we told her we needed them. Um, so that's just a few of the new ones we've got. But if you check out the website, you'll see um, there's, you know, I think I added about maybe 20 listings last week. We've got some new Christmas yeah. words. To me, this little Santa, he looks kind of like a Christmas troll, maybe. I don't know. He just looks different. I don't know that we have one. Like not Christmas gnome? Yeah, he's he's kind, of, kind of like a gnomish troll, right, in yeah, my opinion. Kind of, yeah, he yeah. is. Like, you know, looking, like yeah. the little things off Frozen that come Poppy and Branch. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, the little... The um, rocks. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yes, yeah. So, anyway... 
We got all that. Like Spins family. That too. Oh, and we've got just like this that Sarah's doing now. We've it's got a small, just um, MDF cut out of it of the three wise men. And another Santa head, because you can really never have too many. And this one is really cute, because he's got, like, a bell or something. Is it a bell? Yeah. I think it's a bell. Yeah, it's it looks a like bell. a bell. You can only hear the bells if you believe. <laughs> Abram asked me if I could hear the bells. Oh, I told her, yes, if you don't believe, you don't receive. That's right. I know Santa personally. Ugh. Did you show her that video I sent you on Instagram? No, but I downloaded the camera myself, and I'm going to do one. Cool. But our elves had to go back to the North Pole for a few days because somebody's been touching them. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. She just casually tells us, yeah, I touch my elves. They still move. And I'm like, you've been touching them with your hands? Because she'll move them with the kitchen tongs. And she's <laughs> like, yeah, I've been touching them. And the next morning, she woke up, and they weren't there, and she was so upset. Oh, I'm sure she was. But, you know. Oh, that one would touch a fire. She would. <laughs> oh, she just said, we had to get this elf from my mom's. Now I'm Chatty Kathy on the live. We got this elf from my mom's. Still not singing, though. No, still not singing. She's doing everything she can to singing. <laughs> this, like, it's a big elf. He's too old to really move, but he's kind of creepy. So last night, she stuck him in the nightstand drawer. Because she was like, he's just creeping me out. You know how she is. I love vintage elves. I've seen a this lot of This isn't vintage. No. Oh, it's it just kind of creepy. I've seen a lot of uh, vintage elves lately from my, my fairy lamp collectors who post, you know, mm -hmm. all the people I follow. Some of them have collections of vintage elves. They're so cool. We do have some vintage ones, but this one's like, you know, probably about a foot tall. And he's just like got that old man face. My dad, when I was growing up at my grandmother's house in his little boy room, and every time we slept in there, in the closet, there was a vintage Frankenstein. And it was remote control, probably from when they first start. Like it had the cord attached to the remote control, and he just, you know, like moved. It was from the like 80s, 70s. It had to be scary. It had to have been from the 70s or 60s. It would terrify me. It had to be from the 70s or 60s. My dad, I'm born in 76, so it was, had to be from the 60s, huh? Yeah. We got a Pinocchio that she thought moved around the house, and she would be like, he keeps me up at night. He's moving so much. <laughs> and we finally had to hide him. I mean... Take the kids' words I'm for a sure. quick uh, <laughs> screenshot of just some of the items that we have in this place in my favor right now. There's a lot of classic Christmas shapes, too, other than what she was showing, but 40% off of these things, any size, 40% off. Christmas 40. I'm about to do this purple stain so y'all can see. So far, I've just been using Dixie Bell paint, Gemstone Moose. I'm trying to use three different mooses. Somebody asked where is Scarlet. I wouldn't know because she didn't tell me she wasn't coming today. I think she had an appointment. She probably and she'll be back. And then Friday we're off because we're going shopping with the parents. Annual. Holiday traditions. Yep. Jim's yep, yep. like, I've got school. I don't think I'll be able to go. I'm like, oh, son, you weren't invited. <laughs> you weren't invited. <laughs> this is something y'all always do. Yeah, last year we did it, and the kids were still in school. I'm like, how did this, this year has, like, flown by the holiday season. Yeah. I think because I did have the dreaded COVID, and I lost, like, a full week to that, just yeah. being locked away. Sickly. Oh, I wasn't really sick, just isolated. Um, I had, like, my, my iPhone memories popped up. And it was like Christmas Eve throughout the year. And I had forgot that we didn't do Christmas last year, that Ella was with me and we were alone at my house. Like, we didn't go home or anything because of COVID. Oh, I yeah. I forgot all that. Because we always said Pop got it. Yeah, Pop and Isaiah had yeah. it. Yeah. And Chan had it last year. I had totally forgotten that it was just me and her at my little house. Cooking. 
This year is going to be different for us because, like, my brother-in-law that lives in Texas is not coming in. So, like, Christmas Day will be a lot more low-key, which I'm good with. Like, I mean, I think it'll be nice. I have spent more money than I usually spend. But inflation. I was oh, thinking about yes. that. Yeah. I was thinking about that. I was like, no, it's not that I'm spending more money. It's that everything costs more. Yes. It's insane. It is. Like the groceries. Yes. I'm one person and I cannot get out of the grocery store without spending at least $100. Yes. For one little person to eat. And you can't get, I mean, like, you can't get that much. No. If you have to buy, now we're just on the inflation. Yeah. But if you have to buy toilet paper and paper towels yes. and any cleaning supplies. Detergent. Yes. Meat. Don't get you some meat. Not right um, now. No. <laughs> if you do, you need to buy turkey. It's ground insane. turkey. Insane. Okay, I'm left to this. Uh, this is murders. Murder. His gown is gonna be purple. Purple. Okay. Purple. Royal. Mm. And I'm going to use. This thing is 44 inches wide, by the way. It stands about 30. Maybe. 34 inches tall. I can't remember. It's on the um, it listing. On the yeah. It's freestanding. It's got some slotted pieces that help it stand up right. I'm going to get a snack. This yeah. is just purple apple barrel paint. I'm going to use my handy dandy baby wipe here. I've used uh, wet paper towels before and they just tear up on the wood. But uh, when I'm at home doing like door hangers here or there, I never use stain. You know, I use. Out of, like, I don't know. They do definitely hold up for you. Murder. Murder. Um, when I'm at home, I use like the the uh, burnt umber or the raw umber apple barrel paint and stain things. I never use real stain anymore because it's just so easy. You can get the desired effect. You can wipe on or wipe off as much as you want to. Wipe on, wipe off, as Mr. Miyagi would say. Isn't that a brilliant color, though? If I had used Dixie Belle to do, or if I had used chalk paint to do this, it wouldn't, it would be, it wouldn't be beautiful at all. It would be real dull looking. And I guess it's the chalk in there. Billy, I'm going to have to bring some of those cookies from... Canton, the sugar cookie package from those people who sell all the pasta packets and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it so good? Oh my gosh, hands down the best sugar cookies I've ever ate in my life. Why haven't I tried it? I didn't bring any because we put them in the cookie jar at the house and we ate every last one. And what do you buy from them? Dry mix? It's just a dry mix and I think it calls for butter and oil and like eggs. I don't know. Alice made them. But they're like, I don't know. They were just a step above. A step above any other sugar cookie. What are those things that I keep eating off of that train? Huh? That's little, just um, little just cream. The log, like the little frozen. No, thing. it's just individual pieces you get oh, them yeah, in the are. center. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, Abram made those last night. She helped me raw. make it all. Those usually I, I eat raw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Well, those are <laughs> not very cooked. Better. You can't cook them very long or they'll be bricks. Right, yeah. I just skip the cooking process. Just eat it. Yes, I'm looking forward to our little, we're doing another uh, Christmas eating. You know, Christmas party. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to call it? Friendsmas. Friendsmas? Yeah. Yeah, that's. Friendsmas. Yeah. Yeah. We already had Friendsgiving. Yeah, there we go. We're going to do that every week. We're going to do something for Easter. And, uh, Next, we're going to have <laughs> friends in time. Yeah. <laughs> we're all going to take chew boxes and make our Valentine's boxes. <laughs> And we're going to drop homemade treats homemade in there. Homemade treats. All right, y'all. That wasn't so bad, was it? No, it turned out really good. I think they look good. Great for the front yard. Yeah. If I was going to do anything extra, I might do a little detail on their uh, gowns some and pie. headdresses, some, like, jewels, some trim like I did on his. Bedazzle it. Bedazzle it. You can't go wrong with that. Oh. 
Um, my grandmother, my my great grandmother used to make us all a sweatshirt for Christmas with the puff paint. Well, it would be like with those um, sequin appliques, like yeah. the poinsettia on the shoulder. Yes, or yes. <laughs> and you'd have to be like, no, no, I love it. Oh man, Thank we used you. to get like these bubble outfits. <laughs> Mother, of, oh yeah, I wore bubble outfits with shoulder pads and everything. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah, like a big apron on it, like yeah, homemade. Homemade bubble outfits. Yeah. Like you look like um the genie popping out a little. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thought I was so cute. <laughs> Lace socks and some kids. Yes. <laughs> um, kids. Uh, some I kids. Yep. You wore those on the days you didn't wear your case with. Yeah. Or your Eastlands. <laughs> yeah. Eastlands. Oh my gosh, yes. I had all that. Um gotta get your shoe strings tied. Right. Uh, yeah, like you're thinking about ordering from us. We did announce our um, our deadline for uh, receiving it by Christmas Eve. Uh, we've announced that as December 16th. Um, that does not mean you won't get your stuff for Christmas if you order after that. But this is when we feel most comfortable. Uh, you know, of course, mishaps happen, like she said earlier. But you order by December 16th, your stuff is going to be leaving by the 17th and should be to you for Christmas Eve or earlier. Should be. Should be. That's barring any anomalies of the shipping services, which happens. But. <clears throat> and that's just for regular ground shipping. You always have expedited shipping and stuff as you get closer. So we're going to close with Tara's rendition of Silent Night. Will you sing Mary Did You Know? <laughs> never. No. Never. Absolutely never. not. Never. Mary Did, did you, you Know? I don't think she knew. Were you here when we were doing the the uh, the little manger setup and BJ said something about Mary Bowen and I was like she just gave birth <laughs> like give her a break she's always going to be on her knees in the manger in the stable <laughs> why don't you give birth sometime and see if you, you feel like standing <laughs> yeah no do you want to put this together Bill and let people see it. Or do you want to just hang up the phone? Hang up the phone? Hang up the uh, party line. It looks, I think uh, it looks it better when you add trim. Yeah, it does look more. I want to remind everybody that we also have gift certificates available on the website. I'll give a link to that in case you're looking for somebody that is crafty in your life. She's crafty. You and don't once even have again, to worry about a deadline for that. If you don't know what to buy your people, order them kettle corn. Yes. Apples love kettle corn. They have that gift basket right now. <clears throat> it's cute. Yeah. Apples love kettle corn candy and a Coke. I mean, that's, you can't get much better than that. Because they've got everything. You can't get much better than that. They just want to sit around and eat and watch TV. That's what I want to do. Me too. You ain't got no time for us today. I love you guys. I'm trying to take care of business. Oh sure, like we left you for the business. Here, I flip. Help me pick it up so I can get to that part. Thank you. Mistakes that Billy made? No, I made. Oh. <laughs> Billy doesn't make mistakes. He does. I make one a month or so. Yeah, he's got one. Kind of my one a month. I probably make at least one a week. I'm a several a day kind of guy. Yeah, that's <laughs> well, you got more action than I. Do. Yeah. <laughs> We're proud of you, BJ. Oh, thanks, guys. You really you did a great it's job. Amazing. BJ has I like this. Like the wise man. Yeah, they still they seek him. We might put this at the cabins. I like it. I think that's a great place to put it next to the near trespassing sign. <laughs> Which those yeah. are out now, by the way. Unless you've got gold, up. frankincense, and murder. Don't be knocking. Don't come here. All right. Trimmed them out. Blamed them out. What is that? Did you use the, the gold, what is it called? Gemstone moose. Yeah, the gemstone moose. Yeah. Okay. This is temptress, Fantastic. cotton, cotton, diamond. Tobacco Road, Chocolate and Putty, Chocolate and Putty, Chocolate and Putty, Evergreen, Gold, Gold, Evergreen. This is Apple Barrel, Purple Iris, Diamond, gar er, Copper, and Cotton Trim. Goodness, goodness. 
All right, we can, uh, we can. Stand them up. Stands on it right quick. <clears throat> Tilt the deck a little bit. I guess I could help with this one. Oh, you're oh thanks, Sierra. Get after it. There right. we go. There we go. Ta da! It's like a photo prop. It's like a wise man and Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I need some good wise men. And of course, life. you can paint your stands. <laughs> But they don't show much from the front. I mean, you can... tell my dad I found a man. <laughs> <laughs> three of them. A wise man. Yeah. Three of them. Three of them. That's the first thing he asked me, you got a man in your life? I was like, no, and I don't want one. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Carl will be back. Let's see if I can find us a winner. On here. Oh, yeah, we need a oh, winner. Oh, yeah, we need a winner. We need a winner. We're all winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> All right, um, Barbara Williams Durbin. All right, Barbara. You can uh, email us at um, support at build a cross dot com to claim your your cutout. We'll ship it to you right away. Barbara Williams Durbin. Thanks, Barb. All right. See y'all tomorrow.